uh, as he was thinking about prayer life, you know, mm-hmm. most Christians pray. Uh, I mean, heard a lot of people talking about go to the closet, right? So pray hard, go through with God, a personal God, duty, worship me, God. I was asking the Lord, go to the closet, what it means. <laughs> I think people actually go to the closet <laughs> in real life. I heard the story, so I don't remember who did that, but it, it's funny to me. I always think it's funny. Um, I was asking God that, and I, what did it reveal to me? I forgot. You can't do closet prayer and know what God is doing in the world, in the heavenly. You can't. I mean, literally, you can't. You got to know what God is doing in the world. You got to care about it. It's not in the closet, have some private time to get to. You got to have a relationship in life, right? Mm-hmm. You have a communication. Basically, you in the in the in the network of communications and then you can do that mm-hmm. you know to expect i think this idea where religious people produce in the bible for sure but bible is people dreaming there right daniel mm-hmm. have wisdom from the fasting praying then we have, have an angel with him and god heard right so mm-hmm. But still, he was uh, giving a life pretty endowed with a very special way to pray, right? So, mm-hmm. they say they deserve to compel him to worship a golden, ca- a golden idol, right? Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. So, he was under some strain, you know? Yeah. He has nowhere to go, right? So, about to pray. Mm-hmm. So, I'm saying this is not to, to challenge Daniel's experience. I only think it's strange for us to think they could copy at Daniel's experience. Mm-hmm. But just hating the closet, you know? Mm-hmm. Pretend they're going to be a Daniel, right? So mm-hmm. I don't think angel going to tell them what to go on. So I don't think it works like that. That's, uh, yeah. But certain people pr- they think they... I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I, just don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. The second thing is that you can't... That's a prophetic... Prophetic ministry or prophetic prayer is a restorative, right? Mm-hmm. Something of you know, restored. Mm-hmm. Or revelatory, I mean, something going to happen, being comforted in a right. terrible time. But I don't think that's healthy. Mm-hmm. I don't help. That's normal. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. That's a normal Love. way right. of relation with God, right? Mm-hmm. That's just like a... Mm-hmm. That's not sounds like I'm saying. Mm-hmm. The spiritual sound of life must be different, you know, detached from those things and can be given as you're part of your services. But your relation with your Heavenly Father is a unique thing. It's almost like a follow the same pattern. Mm-hmm. Hebrew, the book said, it's is quite the same yesterday, today, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I think that Arthur knows what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. We're much, we're much so. We're much so because the whole book was about the, the pattern of life with Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Being disciplined, right? Yeah. Yeah, being built up, made holy, am I? So mm-hmm. now he turned around and make us holy, am I? Mm-hmm. So that was the concept. It's the same yesterday, today, tomorrow. But we often think, oh, it's the same yesterday, tomorrow, you're going to just show up being spiritual with me. <laughs> <That's> mm-hmm. so... <laughs> he never changed. So... Mm-hmm. <laughs> he can do miracles yesterday, today, tomorrow. <laughs> That's charismatic thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think that's a terribly misconstrued. The 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 so verse carries a very clear connotation, mm-hmm. a, a context, talking about it's a, the life, the life of Jesus, mainly manifest in another leader, you know, in, in Paul in this case, mm-hmm. maybe, so, so Jesus Christ the same, yes, it is just do not forsake God, the assembly of God. All those are misconstrued and used by the church to justify the religious activities. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. It's not true. It is wrong, actually. Fundamentally wrong. Mm-hmm. How you can trust that verse in that context to say it's about my local congregation? 
and the church have a, a pastor of that city said, "Hey, you know, it's my local church. Better don't get away from my church." That's terrible wrong. Mm-hmm. It was some of the heavenly gathering, right? Yeah. So, do not forsake the heavenly assembly. Mm-hmm. And those people maybe never have even know what the mean assumption is, how the message they call the operate. <laughs> but they will tell you their congregation remains on something, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just thinking. I mean, I see that the, the thing that kind of my mind goes through is, you know, we take it, pray in a closet as a, as a personal Devotion. getting away, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But really, the, the closet holds personal things Mm. and and that's where that's where the father wants you is learning of his personal Mm. ways and who you are in Mm. sonship that's right that's that's the closet that's right that is not a closet that's right. man's interpretation it's of this though yes it's, it's the mind of christ it's the inner man yes. yeah it's the yeah. inner man yeah yeah you can go anywhere to pray yeah paul said to pray everywhere right <laughs> right so what he's saying you know it's it's basically don't be showy right let man mm-hmm. see you know right. so keep it personal mm-hmm. private but we translate it another religious requirement <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> Closet means the private quarter, right? So uh, nobody sees, you know. So yeah. sorry, you know. So that's just a lot of things mm-hmm. mess it up. Sorry, I'm, I'm a, so I don't try to be cynical. I don't try to be cr- critical. But I, when I do revelation with people, I try to parse what's going on there. Mm-hmm. It's a, such entanglement. It's like it's all this stuff, right? People said, oh, yeah, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. I try to say, no, that's actually word problematic. I mean, such you, you read the Bible. <laughs> that's not what it is. Absolutely, that's not what it is. <laughs> it's a clear from the page. Just read it. <laughs> Anyone can read it. No wonder non-Christians criticize Christians. For sure. Because almost like they lost their mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, so how you can draw those conclusions? The other day, the gentleman tried, you know, put his picture. I'm going to have to re- stop doing this. <laughs> so, so put the topic as it goes. Mm. <laughs> I want to hear you, what's going on with you. And, uh, but let me share this one. He, 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 he was so passionate, you know. I got some new revelation about Psalm 23. What he said is that, you know, yeah, you know, in the beginning, how the shape, you know, you know the anointing, the cup of oil. Actually, the shepherd used to use a cup of oil to pour the head of the, 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 the sheep to annoy the head of the sheep. I said, this guy, is either he's dumb or either he's... Uh... <laughs> yes, maybe. There is a time the sheep... So the head hurt, right? I need the yeah, healing, right? right? You yeah. apply oil on it, this. So, for sure, you do that. But to think that's a common practice, yeah. <laughs> that's not you killing me. Don't you know sheep like to the shepherd? <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's a lot of oil to be wasted every day. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. it's not, I mean, do you have a clue what you're talking about? A second, that's not real, for sure. It's not real life experience. I mean, unless she heard, you know, sometimes it grew on you. You want to call it that, that hard thing, you know, so. Oh, that. Uh, yeah, sometimes you cut off or hurt, whatever, mm-hmm. you, you killed by it, you know, oh, you right? Mm-hmm. So, but not every day. You know, right. So, only for special ones, right? Mm-hmm. Needed. It's like a healing process, mm-hmm. you know, so. He, 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 he alluded and said, no, this is for the sheep, don't hurt by rock, don't hurt like bushes, are you killing me? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I mean, how you lose those things? You don't obviously don't know that share for life at all. <laughs> Even common sense. Even common sense. Yes, you think about it. That's true. Something happened. Somebody annoyed the head of a sheep. Is that common? Is that what the Psalms say? The second is that, you know, he lay a table before his enemies. I'm not, that's where the, <laughs> the cup of oil, whatever, the cup of wrong 
whatever, you know, it, you know. So where's the table? <laughs> so you talk about the ship, right? So, the shepherd. You're looking at the noise, the ship in the, ta- in the seat of the table. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> it's like a totally other contest. Mm-hmm. But those are questions, those kind of questions. Make a big flash on some, uh, it's a YouTube short, whatever. Mm-hmm. Everybody prays. I look at the comment a little bit. Uh, this everybody says, oh, yeah, I never knew that. Oh, this is wonderful. I said, well, you guys are you. Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> I mean, literally, this, uh, this kind of a mindset. Mm-hmm. So narrow. Mm-hmm. So freaky. Mm-hmm. So... I'm not even childish. It's a little bit stupid to me, sorry. Uh, I mean, <laughs> any sound of mind, anybody have a, some kind of a reclassion that how they use their mind, they will say, that is a terrible illusion, terrible way to read any text. Mm. If I'm an atheist, which I was, I look at this stuff, what well, you guys, uh, you lost your mind? That's how you read the scriptures? It's all you study, it's all imagination, mm-hmm. all false illusions. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, you, this is a f- religious fanaticism. Yeah. <laughs> Where's it came from? <laughs> Am I right? You don't have a clue what you're talking about, actually. It's, uh, you don't even care about it. Mm-hmm. You just want to follow it. <laughs> mm-hmm. You don't care whether people receive this general is a fact or truth or not. Mm-hmm. I mean, you think you're. You're helping people? I don't think you help anybody. Yeah. This kind of smartness. Yeah. This kind of uh, excitement. This kind of, oh, good thing, good job. That is dumb Christianity there. So, mm-hmm. you know, so. mm-hmm. Sorry. There's no foundation. No. How you fellowship with such a mind? It's a perversion. Mm-hmm. It's an abused mind. It's abused by God's word. I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm ugly. <laughs> I'm not so, I'm a, this is kind of stuff, a sister. Mm-hmm. Through the years, I had to walk through. Mm-hmm. I guess you the same. It makes me want to puke, you know? Mm-hmm. And these people say, let's have an argument like a fellowship. Are you kidding me? Get your mind together first, you know, so train your mind a little bit. Mm-hmm. You don't think straight. One plus one equal two. There's no other way, you know, so. That's how you use the scripture. You disown the scripture by doing it. Because that's what the scripture is about. To interpret like that, where is the... Miss Ellie's son in 23. Where is David's anointing? Where is the Messiah? The whole kingdom picture was gone, all right? Yeah. He's a king. Amen? Right? Mm-hmm. He has a fellowship on the mountaintop, you know? Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Do you go to the mountaintop and all your shapes in the skin? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Obviously, you know nothing about that scripture. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I would have brought uh, my question is this guy maybe, you know, he did something, you know, it's childish. <laughs> but the whole, I mean, every question there, oh, wow, this is great. What a great is about it. Mm-hmm. This is sad. This is very sad to me. Mm-hmm. Do you want your child to think like that? <laughs> I mean, delusionary. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we must clean this mess up for our young people. Yeah. That's no wonder they're going to, to not respect God. It's because those kinds of stuff, it's like any sensible mind. I look at it, you guys lost your mind, man. You know, so. No, <laughs> not interested. I'm not interested in those people. Mm-hmm. I want to run away from that as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. The noise is something <laughs> like that. It's not good noise either, I'm telling you. Do you want the fellowship? 
They don't know all the fellowship. I miss service to me. Uh, how you see certain church circles that I went through many, few other, not many. Uh, I quickly feel always. <laughs> so we'll see that I have a home group and people open scripture. Let's read this portion of scripture every day through. What do you think? What do you think? All right? Have you been in those occasions before? Mm-hmm. Every day. <laughs> yeah. Through their... Their opinions. Yeah, their opinions. And then try to sort it out what's the better understanding. Oh, I agree with that. I used to do that because I follow Bible study. And they do that after, you know, the study had a group with different people. I was like, oh, yeah. They all have a strange idea about the scripture for sure. It's on the table. And people literally cannot read. Mm. <laughs> As well, so try to follow through. Don't even, obviously, they're not familiar. Either don't read or not familiar to the scriptures. To offer some strange ideas. I thought that's a so interesting a format. Later on, I walk away, I feel good, bad because I feel, you know, it's a good thing to do, obviously. Uh, no people, you know, what a surrogate purpose. I, but it never was, it's always make me upset, you know, mm. intellectually at least. Mm. Not emotionally, I love the people. So this is dumb, you know. So, I mean, so obviously, you see now, you know who knows the Bible, am I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Hear him out. <laughs> I've been teaching you. No, everybody has to have an opinion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you don't, man, it's a guy who really has knowledge. He has a will for everybody on his opinions and refrain <laughs> his opinion. So, you know, encourage others. He, obviously, his mind box, he is laughing, though. Man, so here it goes again. <laughs> And what a facade! What a foolishness! Waste of time! And that kind of love, that kind of um, uh, good, good humility, I don't think it's good! <laughs> if I go to a Bible store, I want somebody to really know him and tell me everything. <laughs> Give it to me! <laughs> How can I be quiet? Am I? Mm-hmm. I don't know about you. That's me. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, so I walk away. I remember one day I said, Lord, this is what's going on here. And uh, am I a Chinese? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> so the Lord told me, he said, uh, eh, you don't want to hear that. I do. Be so <laughs> I want to hear. <laughs> He's literally saying, all the teachers treat everyone like babies. Like a kindergarten children, man. Kindergarten. I mean, the leader wants you to be a kindergarten boy. It's crazy. Yeah. You're a dot, right? Somehow, this blinder, this religiosity, they're setting in motion every day. I mean, sometimes it's excited to have opinion, you know? I feel, oh, yeah, share something. Are you give me a break. Do you have the enough occasion to share opinion? Go to your home, read the Bible, get something. You know, so, mm-hmm. No, this is a place where oh, I'm so so happy. I'm I offer some opinion. Everybody notice it, man. Mm-hmm. What in the world? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody encourage that. For me, I said, well, get home, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> read something. Mm-hmm. So literally, the church wants children to be babies all the time. That's all they have in the game, the church. Or else, they can't do anything, right? Mm. Can you have Bible study? <laughs> no anymore. Can you have group meetings? Not anymore. <laughs> but I remember there was a young brother back in Austin driving this situation. I, you know. Uh, the courtesy I went through as a third time, I said, I'm not gonna go anymore, you know, leave me on the faith. So, I see stones, you know, he, he asked, he upset with me, you know, um, because I said, That is to go to nowhere. You know, I'm saying, Why this is this good? This is good. I said, Well, you want to know what's really wrong with this? This is total setup is wrong. I think they're all foolish. They obviously don't get a mind together. 
and uh, he was upset with that you know so I said well you know I can't argue with you if it's that what you want go ahead <laughs> but please don't fellowship with me mm-hmm. <laughs> get upset I said, you know, you know, I'm not telling you what I feel, and you want to hear my or a decent, honest opinion, I'll give it to you, and you get upset with me. Why you get upset with me? I said, by the way, I think I heard God on this mantra before you showed up. <laughs> so I was a curse to see I went through with you, and told you, you know, I'm not supposed to go with it anymore. And you don't appreciate that I go with you, actually. <laughs> so you think this thing I'm going to do with, a, with you, I'll go in? Don't waste my life, man. <laughs> I'll give you a place to live, you know. They don't ask you to, 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 to manage my spiritual life, right? Mm. No, he's not upset with that. So I said, well, you know, you mean I want to ask God what's really going on there, so... <laughs> Sure enough, he stopped going to that church. <laughs> <laughs> well, why? Well, well, why I mentioned this? It's because those things so invasive, so pervasively want to engage young people. Mm. Everybody said, that's a good thing to do. <laughs> really now? <laughs> They're going to ruin their life in the Spirit, in the Lord. So we're never be serious about God and His Holy Word. I remember one or two years, I went to different church circles. Just two years, sister. Everybody wanted me to teach the Bible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one half a year, people been asking me to teach the Bible. You know, half a year. You know my walk. I was beginning to read the book. <laughs> they went to church for 20 years again. <laughs> they got all kinds of versions of the book in their book. And they, 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 can't, they, they, they can't read it. <laughs> they don't want to read it. So when I open my mouth to share a few things, it's so, so fresh. You know, so... <laughs> Oh, this guy has some uh, spiritual... Actually, I don't, don't have anything. I don't even read the Bible yet. <laughs> crazy, huh? Mm-hmm. That's, just, that's terribly crazy. There's a minister asked me to teach, you know, and I said, Will you kidding me? <laughs> I'm just kind of learn. I just started, you know. But two years, I had to grow a whole the yeah. church circles. From places that don't know how to speak English world. <laughs> and no resources. Yeah. No, I'm, but I was engrossed by it. I was just like, yeah. I'm devouring it, you know? So, mm-hmm. oh, but let me not, not see everybody is like that, but there are many wonderful people, right? So mm-hmm. you can see the difference. Mm-hmm. There's a huge difference, world difference for me at least. Yeah. I know who is really tall by God, touched mm-hmm. by God, and mm-hmm. who is not. Mm-hmm. It's a huge difference. Their mind is different. The mm-hmm. process of life is different. The process of mind, the user mind is different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With that, why don't you pray? Let's start and hear you. Lord, I thank you for this, this time that you have granted Emmanuel and I to come before you, to learn more about you and your ways, to sharpen each other. God, we ask for your guidance. Guide our conversation, our minds. Lord, we praise you for the work Mm. that you are doing. Mm. We thank you, Lord, for 
the things that are manifesting, the things that we can see. God, we honor the work that you are doing. And we ask that you lead us in such a way that we show your glory, mm. Lord, here mm. in this community and beyond this community. Mm. Thank you for the way that your hands orchestrate mm. the things we can't even imagine. Mm. So Lord, give us your understanding. Your guidance. Mm-hmm. We honor you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, I can be over, over, what is the word? I hope I don't sound overbearing. How <laughs> critical. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the same conversation with God, I was just thinking, oh my, when we going to get over this stuff? And, um, well, I think we're moving on, actually. Amen. That's a good thing, huh? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but talk with like brothers like this, it saddened me mm. to see the religion of Robert mm-hmm. rob so much. Mm-hmm. The the seeking heart, right? Mm. Searching heart, mm. decent heart. Yeah, some holds it were almost under something, you know, mm-hmm. so cannot get over it. Almost like a secret to them, and they can. No, we need to break that city. We need to break it off. Mm-hmm. Do not be a secret cow. What can you do when I kill you? <laughs> <laughs> secret cow. What a cow you are. So. Mm-hmm. I'm talking. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm more I study Western Christianity or Church of Antony rather. Church of Antony. I'm not more like a new, new, you know, this guy said he wanted new shading. What a new shading? Like you want to puke, whatever the word. You want to throw Nauseated. Out. Nauseated. Yeah. You want to th- throw out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The best, the best is still use the mouth. Yeah. And the heart. Yeah. To convey a message. Mm-hmm. The whole great ideas. Mm-hmm. But you just don't know, they don't get it yet. Mm-hmm. Themselves. Mm-hmm. They, Mental ascension. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to explain. It's, it cannot be mental ascended, this stuff. It just can't. Right. Yeah. You can have the best perfect doctrine out there. You're still not going to get the reality. Mm-hmm. The reality is unspeakable. Uh, uh, cannot be uttered. Mm-hmm. Have never entered the mind of man. Some people said, you know. It's a relationship. It's a tangible relationship. And the relationship word, again, words have its limitations. Yeah. You know, something plug in and not plug in is different. <laughs> so mm-hmm. You can see it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's my point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I really plug in, actually, there's the dying facility to it. To fix, uh, to draw audience basically. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. They know who they are. <laughs> Heaven know who they are, brother. Mm-hmm. And don't, have, don't, don't do the things to, to build a, a different kind of reputation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Now I start. <laughs> Go ahead, your time. <laughs> Which area do I want to reach? You were talking about some topic you want to bring here, so worship stuff. I remember that one. Yeah, I mean the. Let me not tell you what to do. Sure. You go ahead. Yeah. Um. The Lord's really been expounding my uh, capacity to see. Um, it's gonna be hard for me to explain, but. Zion, Mm -hmm. New Jerusalem, what is being built, and how it's being built. Mm, How it's being built, okay. The Mm. 
mm. the order oh, of girl. it. Mm. Mm. Um, That's a big topic there. It is a very big topic, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. is why, I mean, I've just got notes and Bibles spread everywhere because I'm, I love what is what he's showing me. Nice. But yeah. it's very different mm. than... You know, I don't want to say that I had a whole bunch of misunderstandings. I just didn't know. I did not understand. Okay. Okay. A lot. Yes, yes. And there were some, there are some things that I definitely misunderstood. See, see, see. Uh, mm-hmm. But the majority of it is just, it's I'm just you. very naive. It's in you. Okay. And, yeah. um, and when I've been, yes. Oh, tea? You want tea? Sure. Let me get some tea. Yeah. You hold your thought. Don't, okay. Don't, 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 Do you want me to don't pause want, your thing yeah. or just leave it? No, no, it's good. Okay. Jasmine tea. I love jasmine tea. Yeah. Give you about uh, three to five minutes. Okay, thank yeah. you. Be careful, it's hot. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, you talk about design. You talk about many things you 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 did not know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And I think one of the presumptions that I kind of had was just because. You know, I believed in this, this, and this, that I would be shown certain things. I, I, I'm not going to be able to explain it well, but what I misunderstood. But what I am being shown is that the relationship, the humble relationship where you realize who you are, Mm-hmm. And when you come to the Lord from that place, mm-hmm. um, that is what allows you that place in Zion. Mm-hmm. That Zion is not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. I know I'm saying things that yeah. are just very obvious to you. But, no, no, you need you know, to get it. I want you to get it. I did it's have to me. kind of go through it in my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, that then. Once, once your heart posture is there, and can you I help you with that a little bit? Yes, okay, please. Okay. Let's think about dimensions. Mm-hmm. Different dimensions and different realities. Yes. So it's like multiverse, but it don't don't use that scientific too too quickly. Okay. Yes. It's multiverse. Mm-hmm. It's here, but it's not here. It's the heavenly realm. It conversion together. It, yeah. It's invisible. Mm-hmm. Invisible to us. Yeah. Visible to angels. Right. This is a realm. Mm-hmm. visible to God, to angels, and us. Mm-hmm. But angel cannot tread it. Right. It's okay. Visit it. So they can a, observe it, though. They observe yes. They're not allowed to enter. Right. Yet. Right. So when people come and say the angel sent from the throne of God, which is throne? Mm-hmm. Which realm? Yes. Mm-hmm. The word important. Mm-hmm. God does allow angels to uh, to serve the sons of God. Mm-hmm. So they in that. Mm-hmm. The servants. Mm-hmm. But there's a realm, that's a relational realm. Mm-hmm. With relational realm, there's all the spiritual realm as well. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to explain it. So therefore, it's not allowed for angels to enter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I kind of can... See it in my yes in yes. my head, but it's very you. difficult yes, to yes. It's to use explain. the word realm might be word word good to describe it. Yeah, I mean that's when I was writing down my is thoughts. That's what I wrote down. Oh, good. So good. it's a realm, yeah. but it's a realm is actually relational. Mm-hmm. Many Christian mind thinking mm-hmm. it's uh, about existence. Yeah. Some object is a sphere of existence, mm-hmm. made of time, space, often. Mm-hmm. That's not true. Right. It's a relationship. Mm-hmm. It does not come from by time and space. Right. <laughs> Spirits actually, yes, it's as only existing, but it's a, it's 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 activation. It's a relationship. Mm-hmm. It's actually love. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. 
we are decided by our capacity of love. Can you be today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Therefore, we must learn he's called kind of love. Yeah. But man, don't think about it. This is, it's very simple, but to make it so complicated, mm-hmm. it's about wisdom, the understanding. Wisdom comes, understanding comes when you're able to love mm-hmm. or you want to love. Mm-hmm. You want to love like he loves. Yeah. That's a heart. Mm. Get it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> spiritual heart. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't too quick. Why well, as you decide that, your spiritual mind is going to catch up. Mm-hmm. It's always on wisdom or understanding. Mm-hmm. Your mom, you love your daughter. Mm. You first decide when she's born, you're going to love it with the best love. Am I? Mm. Then you search out how to love this lady, how to care for. That's after. You decide love as love is almost cannot explain it, right? So it's there already. Mm-hmm. It cannot. It's a living man, like, like we talk about on the curse. Right? It's there. Mm-hmm. So it's God. He loves us. He cares about us. Mm-hmm. And then he wants us to know, to feed back with that. And that's when he wants us to love, like he loves. And then we say, God, okay, how I love God. <laughs> I need to learn. Mm. So we, he want to love him. Mm. The we pleasing him. Mm. So that's wisdom and understanding. Mm. Now when you have that enriched, then he said, oh, would you care to love others like I love them? Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I need to have a heart for others like you have a heart for others. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, how that can be done. Mm-hmm. We begin to know our limitations, see? Mm-hmm. I remember the other days a person came to me, an apostle, by the way, is, you know, <clears throat> saying, I know how to love. I look at him. I know that's not true. Mm-hmm. He knows how to explain love. Yeah. <laughs> he will care about people. I mean, he care about people. But I look at the daughter, was where God the lady gifted him, right? She was tormented inside, however. And I saw her tormented in the night. She tried to do the good thing, but inside she still don't understand love. You know, so I said, well, you know certain personalities are not really freed by love, enjoy by love, you know, they're not free in that, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, like tight, you know, like this, and you can look at them, they're in a bad mind, like, oh, you know, trying to actually figure out who they are, mm-hmm. how they carry themselves. Mm-hmm. So that's basically a young lady. Mm-hmm. She's a wonderful young lady, she's a godly young lady. She wants to do everything to please the mother, father. She must love them deeply, and the mother, father must love her deeply. There's nothing that in their own mind they're not doing the job. They're doing the best. But I know the result. I know that one heart has not been fully freed by love. And that re- reason is because the mother and father don't know how to love their own lady as it should be loved. So personality is, is deformed, di- dis- dis- distorted. Mm-hmm. And so for, she can't tell anybody. She can't talk to her dad because dad is a, a spiritual leader, you know? Mm. She, can't, she can't talk to her dad about it. What's in the world? That's not love. I mean, that's like usually an uh, artist, a thesis is for what love and relation is supposed to be. So I look at the dad and say, wow, your, your daughter cannot talk to you. What's in the bottom of the heart? You don't mean you know how to love? Something terrible missing. Mm. I don't know where well those days. That's a say thing, people. Mm. Those are very intuitive to me. Mm. I don't have ability to see what's going on there. Mm. So it's puzzling to me how you how, how blind you are. I mean, I'm not accusing him as I was saying, naturally my question mark, you know. Mm-hmm. Why this happened? Mm. Why you think you know how to love? Why you p- present that? Speak to new I was new to his uh, circle, so he was uh, use that word almost like, you know be safe and 
you know, do you think that have? I'm not saying I don't want to actually have more heart, want to do that. But after I wait in that, I have a question mark. It popped the delusion on me. You know, I have imagination on them to, to do things with him. I serve him. And, I mean, step by step, I recognize the true. I mean, that is the man greeting Tao with knowledge. You know the Bible better than most people I know. Mm. And has devoted his life, obviously. He is gifted. I mean, he carries the knowledge of the Spirit with him. Better know how to learn. Mm. I am as a man, I think you know, my whole life is a seeking truth. But eventually that truth translates into God's love. I'm talking about my whole life is seeking some kind of uh, perfect relationship. If mm-hmm. yeah. It's interesting, huh? Yeah. God put that in the essence of man's heart. Mm-hmm. And he's saying, you yeah. can help. Mm-hmm. You know, when I share these simple things, it drives you into profound thoughts. <laughs> 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 it's so simple. I mean, it's like... A, Everyone's supposed to know. It's not high topics, right? right. So <laughs> you don't need to, to come to that conclusion with a bunch of scriptures, right? So it's like, a, so we're supposed to be. Mm. But the interesting question continue to love one another with the scriptures <laughs> rather than to do it mm. or with the religious activities. Mm. It's tough. It's difficult for me to understand that. Mm. Because God made us to be that agency, mm-hmm. that person. You talk about design, it's a bad recourse. Mm. I'm interested in Digress. That's all, that's okay. it. Just, <laughs> mm-hmm. My point is that, you know, how you learn to love. Mm-hmm. Heart go first before the mind, that's my point. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm. yeah. You know what I would love for you to expound on? I'm learning about it, but the, um, like when we talk about the arc, mm. um, and the, the court, mm-hmm. the inner court, yeah. and then the, Sorry. the holy of holies. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never really understood mm. the, um, it's not the right word. I'm not coming up with the right words, but the, the way to enter those different places. Mm, so mm. I feel like I'm being shown some, but I just really wanted to hear I- I- any of your... It's good. I mean, in Hebrew, the book, talking about Christ, open the we or mine, mm-hmm. so, so we should draw boldly to the throne of God. Mm-hmm. I think that's being misconstrued mm-hmm. by most Christians. Mm-hmm. And everybody have a salvation message, especially. Exactly. Yeah. Why like I said, hey, God is such open God, you can do this, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, then people talk about the replacement theology, certain things. I don't quite understand. The point is that New Testament replaced Old Testament. Mm. So, Christ came, therefore, all those ordination in the Old Testament don't need to be petitioned anymore. Right which is a terrible wrong, right. untrue, because set apart, holy means something spiritually, yes. our operation has to be put in place. Right. So what does spiritual operation look like? That's what I think you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Right? So the, the setup of the pattern mm-hmm. was given by angels, mm-hmm. administered by angels, mm-hmm. by the way. Moses saw the pattern, mm-hmm. God gave the pattern. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, that's big Ezekiel topic. Ezekiel too. I'm sorry. Ezekiel too. Ezekiel so yeah yeah so the new new temple Ezekiel yeah so mm-hmm. yeah true yeah mm-hmm. they give the temple, but Ezekiel's pattern is still is a restoration of pattern. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's an ultimate pattern basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People will interpret it as Ezekiel's temple going to be built somewhere in or something like no. that. Uh, I. Don't know, you know. Maybe many of them will happen. You know, some yeah. kind of 
cultural center or what happened, governmental center what happened. Maybe that way it's so. But I don't care. I mean, yeah. not, not, not in the way. Yeah, I know what you're way. saying. Yeah, That's so, not what I'm talking yeah, yeah, about, yeah, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. It's had to do with uh, Ezekiel what it's so. Hmm. I can explain these things. There's too much going on. I know, sorry. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just a big topic. Mm-hmm. So you better give me some guideline. What are you try seeking after here? What was the mean, mean query here? You want to know how the process are, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, but I feel what I was shown. Um, mm. Better share with me what he has been shown. Yeah. So the outer court mm-hmm. is more like our body. Yes. And what we're doing, she, like yes, yes. tending the garden, it's body, mm. um, body, yeah, and the heart, even. Mm. We'll reserve that one. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, let me um, hear you out first. Mm. Yeah, this is where my mo- This is where I'm still wrestling. Mm-hmm. This is. I mean, look. Just this morning. Okay. Maybe let me give yes. some explanation. Sure. That's that what you're thinking. Okay. The ark itself, the temple itself, mm-hmm. the temple itself, is actually a piece of her man. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's very sorry to see that. Actually, a picture of a woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hard to explain, but a woman and man in this mm-hmm. actually come together, okay? So, mm-hmm. no man, no female. Mm-hmm. So, for actually, it's a picture of a sonship. Mm-hmm. The, the, the pattern of sonship. Yes. So you understand that. They understand the ark was set into the quarter. It actually the head. Yes. Okay. The altar, the altar sacrifice is the heart. Mm. Okay. okay. He died to a life. Yes. Right to other life. Okay. Have a new heart. Okay. A new heart. Receive a new spirit. Mm. So the aroma... Right. The smoke is the representation of the spirit, if you understand that. Okay, I put that. Okay. The spirit, uh-huh. the budding rod. Yes, yes. Huh? The budding and rod. And the soul was like the manna. Yeah, the manna. The, 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 let's, let's, okay, let's go on. It's okay, it's yeah. okay. Yeah, so, you, you see, if you really draw a man's picture, you will find the ark exactly a man's picture. Hmm. I mean, there's two legs, like a pillar, right? The door is the entryway. For seating. The, the like door? A, the gate. The okay, gate, okay. Eastern gate. Okay. Is a woman is be seated with a a seed. Mm-hmm. Give birth to someone. Yes. Yes. If you understand yes, my point. I understand. And now you understand it's why it's a womb. Mm-hmm. Yes. So those are things people already know. Mm. It's not me having to invent that. Right. But uh, but you enter more and more you will find the heart is where God met his people, mm. marries people. Mm-hmm. Oftentimes we come to the temple, we come with a sin consciousness or salvation right. mindset. Mm. Oh, I need to be saved. Mm-hmm. I need to be against sin. Actually, the ark is also a come out. So we come in, right? Make peace with God, ready to receive. Now, yes. what you're going to receive that is a part actually most time is missing. Mm. That actually come out is more important mm-hmm. to God. Mm-hmm. Why he make you holy? So you can receive the thing you want to give to you. Amen. So the come out often is missing the teachings. Right. Well, most, most of the teachings is talking, they may handy, but they actually don't know how to operate. Mm-hmm. They all talk about the, this represent Christ, this speaking Christ, but it's more symbolically mm-hmm. explain the symbolic meaning of it rather than to allow the operation activity. So you understand the ark actually is the center of an outflow. Mm-hmm. The rivers flow out, then have a life. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So this river come on the throne, it don't come out, then, mm-hmm. then create life. Right? So, mm-hmm. so when you get the reverse order, it's very easy to see that. Mm-hmm. So God required holiness to his proximity, accessibility to his grace, mm-hmm. to his uh, fullness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He hide those things away. Mm-hmm. He had to be purified, sanctified in order, made holy to receive. Mm-hmm. So it's a treasure. 
The ark is a treasure box, right? Yes. By nature. Mm -hmm. So it is a guarded place. That's why the wheel there. The wheel is guarded, right? Cherubim on either side guarded. Mm -hmm. Yes. So flaming sword, right? The picture mm -hmm. for the Eden came back. Yes. So what's a guarding? Guarding like a Eden, guarding eternal life, obviously. So what is eternal life? Good question. Eternal life is perpetual life, endless life. That is not what God said. It's a relational life. Ha! Mm -hmm. huh? With God, however, can you have a relation with Him? For sure, have the perpetual life, have the endless life. His life is endless. So for He made you, He's a son, He wants a relation with you, you have an endless life. Mm -hmm. so, but have endless life doesn't mean you have that relationship with Him. That's why angels don't have this relationship. They're not allowed to have it. Mm -hmm. That's the nature. Angels, however, never die. Look at the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's interesting, huh? Very interesting. Yeah, so most of people do not know how they have an angelic encounter. They will tell you a lot of experiences. They actually, because they lack understanding how some ship operate, mm -hmm. they, Therefore, they have a very hard time to understand how angels operate. Yeah. Mm. Because the angel was still serving a greater reality. Mm. And then they are coping after another reality, by the way, mm. which was on the uh, remain hidden mm. through the age until Christ opened up, or opened the wheel. Mm. Make it sense again? That's mm. the Hebrew as we're talking about. Mm. So there's a high realm open up. Yes. Yeah. Or deeper realm open up. So that's reflected in that as well. Mm -hmm. So you have a, we're talking about three things, okay? Mm -hmm. a body, soul, and spirit mm -hmm. represent in the manhood. Mm -hmm. You have the perpetual life being seeded. Mm -hmm. Perpetual, okay? Mm -hmm. Generation, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And husband and wife picture comes mm -hmm. in, right? Mm -hmm. That's original motherhood, fatherhood come together. Mm -hmm. Marriage come together. You go there to renew the covenant mm -hmm. on the deal of human the marriage, renew the marriage. Hmm. Well, it's just all those covenants. That's why seed, the first fruits, is important. Yeah. Because it's to do with the womb, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get my point? Yes. You know, so the land is like a womb, but the, yes. the, the people in the, in, in, the, in the land is also like a womb, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's why desert woman is such a prophetic picture. Right. Yes. That's a sound shape is such an important picture, yeah. first right inheritance. Mm -hmm. So when you understand those basic concepts, it's mm -hmm. not alien. It's right. all there. Right. The Jewish mind understand that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Christians, Western mind have a hard time to reflect that. Those mm -hmm. are built in Jewish mind, mm -hmm. Jewish traditions. Mm -hmm. Am I making sense to you? Mm -hmm. So yeah. Which is a mind of Paul. And Jesus and Peter they understand that intuitively, mm. but those things are so to take for granted. Yeah, that's the day everybody understand. Right. There was no need to teach it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but modern Christians don't have that culture right. in them, mm -hmm. and they they begin to bring everything Jesus taught or Paul taught in their own context. Mm -hmm. There's a disconnect there. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to uh, recover duty. Jewish tradition here. I'm talking about the culture in Diamond is so important mm -hmm. in understanding what Paul taught, what Jesus taught, what Peter taught mm -hmm. in many regards. Mm -hmm. So when we come back to that, you know, the ark picture, the temple picture. So you, you, you have a first set of parable, uh, parallel is body, soul, spirit, right? Mm -hmm. The second actually is realms. Mm -hmm. Man's realm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Angel's realm. Mm -hmm. Then the sound realm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three mm -hmm. heavens. Mm -hmm. Or three realms. Each realm can be divided in different ways as well. Mm -hmm. you know? Call for women, call for Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Hmm. You see, huh? Mm -hmm. Women require marriage, adoption. Mm -hmm. Gentile required a change of uh, nationhood. Mm -hmm. 
Twin Towers. They don't belong to your nation, aliens, am I right? So, right. yeah. So that's governmental. Mm-hmm. Women getting married. That is a family, a family's relationship. Mm. So when Jesus taught me the ten virgins, you know, like, <laughs> just give me some pictures, yeah. right? So, <laughs> so those are all related. Is this in mind? You know, exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. and the second concept is a kingship. Mm-hmm. In the concept of the temple, oftentimes we relate to only priesthood. Right. It's, you know, the king's palace still outside. This priesthood is set up. Even in Ezekiel said, in terms of the princes, Right. As they go to the temple, right? Mm-hmm. With reflecting a temporary or transition construct. Mm-hmm. In Hebrew, we're talking about at present time, we not see all things come under his feet, right? Mm-hmm. Yet to come under the feet. Mm-hmm. So, how it works? That's why there is two ruling of economies priesthood and kingship. Mm-hmm. Now, oftentimes, people just jump ahead and say, No, this is all fulfilled by Christ, it's so for. There's no operation in the present day anymore. Yeah. That's <laughs> terrible. That's what our Hebrews said. Yeah. <laughs> say. No, it's true. In the Bible, it talks about the separated still. Mm. And the, the Moses law by way give a, a template how this works. So the kingship is supposed to be educated, anointed, mm-hmm. endorsed, and educated, and oversight mm. by priesthood. Why? Mm. Well, interesting, because the priesthood belongs to God's household. Mm. Kingship is a man's civilian government. It belongs to man's household. Even it's a king. So you have two households here. Mm. See that? <laughs> hmm. I think I, in my mind, yeah. I've kind of melded together priesthood. Most and people do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Most people do that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, actually... This stuff I told you, most Christians have no idea. Mm-hmm. Literally, have no idea. Mm-hmm. That's my sad story. Yeah. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Nobody asked, actually. Mm-hmm. This stuff he told me. <laughs> it's, not re- it's not by reading books, by the way. Right. Yeah, it, books definitely help, you know? So, sure. yeah, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. But books is too small. Yes. A play to, to scatter details. You don't get the essence, the construct. Mm-hmm. It's a hard construct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you see my point? Yeah. Got the superstructure. If <laughs> the structure is a superstructure. Mm-hmm. The blueprint. Before anything came to be, there was a blueprint. <laughs> you have to know the guy who set it up. Why he set it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's uh, something only, only the father knows, right? Mm-hmm. Through the sound. Mm-hmm. So that's the stuff that's exciting to me often. Mm-hmm. It's very hard to explain, however. People mm-hmm. will think you are a story or hidden knowledge, mystical. It's actually all there in the Bible, everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, me, mm-hmm. <laughs> the book, this is the Bible highlighted as a mystery, mm. as a higher elevated spiritual knowledge, right? So yes. it's not, it's governmental, it's right. culture. Right. So you don't tell me, it's not, a, <laughs> it's supposed to be everywhere. Mm-hmm. So, because it's culture center, that's why I use the word culture. Yes. It's not more than a kingdom center, it's a culture center. Mm-hmm. A kingdom is an enforcement, execution mm-hmm. of a reflection, mm-hmm. of expression, yes. a manifestation. Yes. In embodiment, the word become a... Flesh. Ah, I got it. <laughs> you see, so making sense, right? Yeah. But you, what good for us to teach these things? Mm. If it does or not, has a real operation. Yeah. That's a caution. Yes. That's why I don't touch the topic. Yes. Because we'll join the wrong audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People take this message trying to impress one another. And this mm-hmm. this kind of knowledge cannot be trifled with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, I see a lot of life being damaged when they disrespect this stuff. Mm-hmm. They touch the ark, you know? To touch something that's not supposed to be touched. It has to be in the heart. Yes. Uh, it's, you, can't, you, you can't argue a case that, hey, what doctrine is this? this is a good, God don't care about the doctrines. Right. He cares the reality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Remember two 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 songs of Aaron, burns the strange fire. Mm-mm. Yeah, the first time the tabernacle was set up, mm. Aaron and his two sons were set up as a priest to to serve before the ark of the Lord, and they burned strange fire before the ark of the Lord, and God struck them dead. Mm-hmm. And Moses there and Aaron, his old brother, right? See what he's gonna do. Mm-hmm. As he come in, carry the boy, dead body out. Uh, Aaron continued to serve. You read the Bible there. Yeah. That scared me to death. Yeah. <laughs> when I read that, uh, in the beginning, just think it's a story. One day, it's the Lord began to study Aaron's life, you know, so, because he represents the noisy him, right? Yeah. Noisy one. I was like, there, we scared them. This is not happening for me. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is too much. Yeah, it's not easy. No. Yeah. To be burning. I don't understand which hand you think is an easy thing, huh? Yeah. It costs you everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's cost is the firstborn song there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's why, firstborn? Take it out. Mm-hmm. Why too? We don't think about it either. Mm. So we're prophetic. By the way, have you noticed Moses has his own children? <laughs> Moses has his own children. He has wives. Mm-hmm. He has children. Mm. So why is never mentioned to serve the Lord with him? Interesting, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Think about it. Have you noticed that? I didn't notice that. <laughs> mm. Just saying. Because the wife was not from a Levi tried. <laughs> mm. So naturally disqualified. Mm. One was a silly woman, by the way. The other one was a medium. The woman was very ugly to him, actually. So, mm. so the woman, the two, tri- two wives, canceled them, their sons out for holy service. Mm. And the Bible didn't tell that. The wives, just like you. <laughs> The Bible didn't tell that. Mm. But the true story is Moses has never... He has a song, then, right? Mm. Moses' uh, Moses' spiritual heirship carried on by actually Aaron, right? The priesthood. Mm-hmm. But it's a civilian government, it's another heirship, if you will. There's a quote-quote heirship, right? So mm-hmm. carried on by Joshua. Who is Joshua? Joshua is not even from the tribe of Levi. No, from the tribe of Judah. He's from the tribe of Ha-ha, Ephraim. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, good question. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it's the same. <laughs> so Moses actually passed on his own spiritual heritage. He was not allowed to continue. So what that means? That means the Moses represents some realm already that the people of God are not able to continue. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. The witch was embodied in the ark, by the way. Mm-hmm. Let's look at the ark mm-hmm. itself. Mm-hmm. So I'm talking about the three threes, am I right? Yeah. Let's talk so about another three. Okay. Godhead. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> Spirit, Son, and the Father. Mm-hmm. So how that works? That's each one's relationship. Okay? Right. When you enter the womb, you're born again. You have the spiritual life now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> through water, and then through fire. Mm-hmm. Through water, you're born. Mm-hmm. You're born as a man, however. You're a pure man. But you're not tried by angels yet. <laughs> you're not what? Tried by angels yet. Right. Tested by angels mm-hmm. yet. You're not go through the angels. Mm-hmm. So that's represented by the altar, back in the fire. Okay. Then back in the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Interesting, back in the Holy Spirit oftentimes is construed as enabling. Actually, back in the Holy Spirit is the real sound of life. Mm-hmm. 
So you have to be a man by test by angels in order to be a spiritual son of the Father. Mm. That is a ordained in the set of the tabernacle services. Mm. Washing, right? Mm-hmm. Go to the altar, being burned. Mm-hmm. Then your spirit, the another altar, as the incense. Mm-hmm. Open the way to who? To your true household. Yeah. Where God's treasure box is, mm-hmm. <laughs> all His mercy throne is. All mm-hmm. oh, that, by the way, talking about the altar. So let's see some of the sweet courts. Honestly, in this whole thing. Hmm. But uh, it's hard to explain. So. I'm enjoying it. Keep trying. Oh, oh sorry. It's a. Uh, it's hard to explain it's because we, we people would think I'm arrogantly proclaiming pro- something. I'm the speculation. No, I'm so certain about. It. There's not too much. Not more too much scripture evidence to back it up. Mm-hmm. There are, but it's very, very much undiscussed. Mm-hmm. When this, those things discussed often means uh, being misinterpreted, I believe. Mm-hmm. So that to do is that there are three courts. Mm-hmm. There's a mercy seat. Mm-hmm. Court is a seat, am I? It's wrong. Right. A court is judgment, am I? Yes. Uh, a management, a, a government, am I? Yes. So, mm-hmm. so you have a set of covenant. With a covenant, a servant, a priesthood, in a mm-hmm. sense, who mm-hmm. serves a covenant, right? That's yes. that's understand that concept. That's Hebrew, right? Yes. Speaking about. Mm-hmm. So there's one court called the mercy seat, mm-hmm. which is the Old Testament tabernacle is all about mm-hmm. mercy seat. Mm-hmm. But you see, mercy seat doesn't come in. You need what to come in. Mm-hmm. But you have judgment seat. You would judge angels, right? Mm-hmm. Judgment seat, judge the world, judge everything not from God, am I right? Mm. That's judgment. Mm. Now, judgment presently, man has lost the ability to judge it, so it's given to whom? To the angel, right? Mm. So, the judgment is God give man through Moses a pattern, hey, from the mountain, am I right? Copy everything. That's in Jerusalem, the lead on the Hebrew, uh, the book clearly said through Stephen, through Paul, in the Old Testament clearly said there, were, there was a ripple, uh, not ripple, uh, a shadow type, yeah. which, is a, which is from in hmm. So most of what copied and David lead on in part of Solomon was from in hmm. So it's Ezekiel actually. Hmm. You get it, my point? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, so. That's the judgment. Okay. Okay, angels going to eventually lost their seat there. Mm-hmm. Sounds God going to rise up, am I? Mm-hmm. Going to judge angels. But is that in the story? I propose is that not on the That's still transition. That's why millennium is still transitional. Mm-hmm. Millennium reign is still transitional, yes. am I? Right? Yes. The, angel, the devil going to be cast. Judge, am I? Mm-hmm. Or do yes. the better for judge, am I? Millennium, you know that, yes. right? So, mm-hmm. so other millennia is another age. Mm-hmm. Then another age is going to come, am I? Mm. Am I? The marriage phase, everything going to come, am I? So, yeah. now, new heaven and new earth, mm-hmm. am I? New heavens and new earth. New what? New heavens. Okay. Yeah. So, who is in new heaven? We never think about it, right? <laughs> Where are the earth? I mean, each realm obviously represents a class of or a kind, a kind of life different than in other realm. Right. Mm-hmm. Paul expanded that in First Corinthians fifteen. Said that angels has glory, man has own glory, right? Mm-hmm. Flower has glory, whatever. So, mm-hmm. birds has own glory, fish has own glory, right. you know. So, mm-hmm. so what glory means? Mm-hmm. So the Bible in the translation from KJV because man. Because the case we don't necessarily understand these things. Sorry to see that. Mm-hmm. This is copy words. Mm-hmm. So I have no idea that all uh, uh, glory in English actually means different words, different meanings in the original language. Mm-hmm. But they use one word. Mm-hmm. When glory can mean different thing even in English, am I? Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> you know that. Mm-hmm. Glory for fame. Mm-hmm. Glory for shining. Mm-hmm. Energized body, right? Mm-hmm. The glory. Or glory for something, reputation, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Glory of fame, right? Yeah. 
Ah, o h glory of a, a fulfilled life, the glory of a life. So those are things even English language is there, right? Glory can be outside of you. Glory can be inside of you. Glory also be upon you. Yes. I make sense to you. Mm-hmm. And that's so. I make making sense the mm-hmm. same. All right. Yes. So yeah. So because those things are culturally looped together by Christian mind, yeah. they all think it's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Mm. Just like a faith in different context, not the same thing. Mm-hmm. Because your faith, woman, you're healed. That's obviously not talking about the sonship faith. Yeah. Faith for sonship. That's for healing. All right. Mm-hmm. Make sense to you. Mm-hmm. A faith particularly feel for for healing. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. The 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 uh the captain for the how do you call it? Chichirim, right? So have faith, you know. Jesus Marvel has faith, you know. He, he don't have faith in him being a son of God. Mm-hmm. In the we, he he don't understand, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Mm-hmm. So they all recognize the son of God, but they have a different right faith. Yeah. So the what then he the centurion recommended that better than Peter at the moment when he declared that truth, mm. it's trusting him being the son of God in the government to ability. Mm. That's a very particular operation of faith, and what he went for. Peter don't get it, <laughs> so, mm-hmm. not yet. <laughs> But Peter believe he's a Messiah. His contest came from a. The Jewish tradition, <laughs> right? See, mm-hmm. so his idea of son of God different than. That's it, old man. That is, sorry. Yeah. You see my point? Mm-hmm. That's why it's important to know context. Mm. Everything God care about is not our words. He care about the substance. Yeah. That's often missed on Christian mind as well. So mm. we talk about love. We know we're not talking about general term love. Yeah. If we really mean business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who, how, what? It's become a natural. Context when we talk about love, right? Is if it's not conceptual love, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah. And you, you said, oh, love is about conceptual. You pretty much are you dead body? I mean, are you dead something? Are you idol? No, are are you machine? You're a human being. You have personality. You naturally will translate and source in love with relationships. Yes, and relationship required. Activity in relation. I mean, come on, mm-hmm. in actions, right? So mm-hmm. that's obvious. That's the obvious. Mm-hmm. But what we do? There you go. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, something. So when God begin to say, "Judge," I want to have a judgment seat. What are he doing there? Mercy seat is a salvation, right? Redemption, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. amen. Redemption, mm-hmm. that human redemption. Mm-hmm. That's what most people get. The first they never understand. They meet second they gonna judge angels whatever I don't know so <laughs> judgment seat right yeah and then the last one is the the throne of glory mm. ah mm-hmm. you sh- see down on the right hand with the, mm-hmm. with the glory uh, that's glory let me ask you is about redemption that's down right mm-hmm. is about judgment. That's done, right? Yeah. It's after, right? So, mm. Oh, there you go. Mm. What I mean is that it's a fellowship. Mm-hmm. But it's honorable way, in a way, have some kind of uh, structure to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's a king, the king, Lord, Lord, right? Mm-hmm. There's some. That's not about pressing get the the evil out of when it's it's a government array, right? Yes. Uh, there's a read there, mm-hmm. and Christian continue to fight about that. Mm-hmm. The best thinking is all you call. Yeah. In the internal glory. <laughs> By nature, of the glory is uh, some kind of embodiment, right? So, yeah. <laughs> get it? I'm mm-hmm. sorry. The capacity mm-hmm. to love, capacity to understand, actually. Mm-hmm. Your spiritual being, what decided by you actually is a love and wisdom. I often use that word. Love, wisdom, the same thing, but it's the uh, God nature translated into a spiritual being. Mm. 
the ability to love, the ability to understand, mm -hmm. is your glory. Mm -hmm. That's clear in the Bible, by the way. I can prove in that scripture now. Mm -hmm. But we don't think glory in that light. Mm -hmm. We continue to isolate glory to be this hierarchical setup, as true as it goes, mm -hmm. in the shining light. Oh, you have glorious body, powerful than angels. Is that what God intended for glory to be expressed? Mm -hmm. No, it's a song's kind of glory. Sons life, right? Sonship life. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, the firstborn of this life. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so then what's the essence of that life? If angels are mighty glory, shining light, whatever it is, what about the song? Huh? That's where angels lost in the beginning. Mm -hmm. The devil lost on it. Yeah. Because a different kind of expression mm -hmm. of God's love mm -hmm. and God's life. God love and wisdom. Mm. Different than angels. Angels cannot do it. Mm. Let me give you another example of this, okay? Mm. A common day example. Well, you're touching some profound things. I don't think Christians get it. Most mm. have no clue about this stuff. Mm -hmm. They wrote the books, right? Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Sounds kind of but, but it's the truth. Mm. What I share with the truth, it's very simple truth. Mm. That's literally what it is. Actually, <laughs> that is the truth. So, where well I say it is what it is. Mm. So what I'm saying this example is, uh, you have um, a Superman. Mm -hmm. Okay, he got to do many things for you, right? Mm -hmm. But you somehow you give birth. To a disabled child, mm. he can talk, he can walk. He bed leading actually he requires the rest of your life to take care of that child. Mm. The superman can do everything for you. He's your servant. Mm. So which way you love? You love them all, right? You appreciate them all, right? Mm -hmm. And he's a faithful. He's affectionate. Everything, right? But he's not your son. Mm -hmm. Get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Angel is not God's song. Yeah. <laughs> we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even we are disabled yeah. in many ways spiritually. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the modern ability thing. Imagine I'm suddenly become well and able to do things. Maybe not able to do things, but I can have helpers, right? Mm -hmm. So who going to you to pass on your business? In trust your business to? Or share your family name with? Your son, right? <laughs> of the angels. Mm -hmm. See, that operation economy, it seems never registered in Christian minds through the ages. Mm -hmm. Not even the gathering in the Bible. You last didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Moses may have a glimpse of it. Mm -hmm. Abraham a glimpse of it. Mm -hmm. I'm the same. Yeah. Through it was in Christ Jesus. That's why Hebrews the Buddha said in the last days he was speak that through. That's why Jesus said, righteous man and and to search how they think they do get it. And right? Yes. So so it's just know what you're talking about. Mm. He's not talking about the jokes, he's talking about the real stuff. Yeah. We think it's some mystical. Yeah. Yeah, he's talking about the certain kind bottles. of life. <laughs> the certain kind of life, exactly. The yeah. kind of life. Yeah. And John understands it, said the word become flesh, right? He mm -hmm. said we see it, but uh, we see it's full of truth. Mm. And the word? The word? Glory. <laughs> What glory? He has not revealed himself on the mountaintop. <laughs> I mean, his glory is every day he will relate to them. Mm -hmm. So why is it glory? Because he carried in the position, represent the lifestyle, mm -hmm. in a, a reactive life. Mm -hmm. That is a give another way how the order things around. Mm -hmm. 
let's give some example at this moment. Okay, so you go to, you go to, uh, eat, you go to different occasion, you enjoy music. You go to concert, you go to whatever private, you enjoy music, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the same music, mm -hmm. the same instrument, not the same music, but you enjoy the music, right? Mm -hmm. You all will say, I'm enjoy music. Mm -hmm. I love the music, right? So. Mm -hmm. Then you go to this procession. Someone, mm, the president inaugurated the, mm. this common experience life here, right? Mm -hmm. So a band is playing music, right? Is music important? You enjoy the music, right? But all the occasion demand you to master yourself to follow a Mm -hmm. A setup, right? right. So you can't yeah. kick back, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, get my head from into my music. You right? so, mm -hmm. demand to follow certain procedures mm -hmm. to honor that occasion. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So it's a presence of Christ Jesus. He come in the midst of man. Yes. He began to map our order of life, yes. a presence of life. Yes. That's called a procedure, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's order. It's I have come the kingdom come with me, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that's honor. That mm -hmm. there's culture there. Mm -hmm. Culture for honor there. Mm -hmm. You, my brother, no longer call you slaves. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. no, I don't treat you like Superman. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm treating me. As another son of my father, mm -hmm. <gasps> all but repeat don't understand that for the longest time. Mm -hmm. John had no idea what that means. Before mm -hmm. dying breath, a uh, breath, it changed. I was just, what's your guys are up to here, no? So, mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. A wise man and righteous man long to see this, but now cannot see it. That's what I'm saying. Now this sounds crazy, right? But what do you think this talking to me about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to be born. I talk to you heavenly things, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. So back to the picture, to the three chords now. Result, three, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. Man, mm -hmm. reproduction, mm -hmm. <laughs> regeneration. Yes. Multiplication. Mm -hmm. Multiply as subdue. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all in the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Put everything on there. Food store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Subdue means food store. Mm -hmm. By the way, the lamb means all the same word. Rude the word. Mm -hmm. Lamb seen on the throne. Mm -hmm. uh, a ram, whatever the word. You must, uh, the next one is the realm, right? Yeah. Man's realm, angel's realm, mm -hmm. God's father's realm with mm -hmm. his sons, right? Mm -hmm. So three realms. The three courts. Mm -hmm. He has a way to he had the government. He had the and the minister, right? Mm -hmm. Three covenants. Mm -hmm. Means a covenant talking about, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. the same, right? So now what about baptism? Baptism required, it means dead. Mm -hmm. Lay down another life, now pick up another life, and enter another life, born into another life, mm -hmm. right? So, so in reality, how many baptisms you go through in the Bible? Talk about, Jesus said, I will baptize you with the fire and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So what the Holy Spirit means there mm -hmm. is the spiritual gifts. Pentecost, Pentecost continue being interpreted as the impartation of the power from a high, right? Mm -hmm. We interpret it as the gifts, right? Mm -hmm. We never think of the power from a high. Maybe more beyond gifts. Yeah. <laughs> power from a high. What? Peter explained it. John, uh, Paul explained it. It's in power. New life power. Mm -hmm. But we think about, she was thinking about, you lost the power, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm going to say, the same. That that don't translate. So it's a fundamental. I give you the new reinterpretation. Mm -hmm. My interpretation stand, I think, right? So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the resident power. This is the life we invite them to born into, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're born by the living word of God, imperishable, my right? seed, mm -hmm. Peter said. Mm -hmm. To rather 
preaching the gospel to them, right? Mm-hmm. So they know what they're doing, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> New priest, a uh, holy priesthood, a uh, mm-hmm. holy nation. Mm-hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. That's mm-hmm. what royal priesthood, a holy nation. Sorry, Peter said, right? Mm-hmm. That's his concept. Mm-hmm. So then, three baptisms. Mm-hmm. Water baptism, fire baptism, fire, fire baptism, yes. Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is spirit sonship. Mm-hmm. Let's not interpret. It's a new life. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you think spiritual baptism, fire is a is a is not a spiritual operation. It's a spiritual operation. Mm-hmm. Everything here is a spiritual operation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it touched allow you to enter a different world. Realm mm. and substance of life. Mm-hmm. All the realities, five realities, not the one. Realities, Paul said in Colossians. Mm. These are shadows, a type, something, right? Some mm-hmm. of the ceremonial rituals, you know? Mm. New moons and bridges, like that. Mm. No, but the reality belong to, a, to Christ, mm. belong to Christ, mm. the anointed one. Mm. No. That's interesting, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, what about the ark? Because everything in Nebo leads into the ark, right? Right. Now let's look at the ark. Mm-hmm. The ark is where angels ascend and descend, right? Mercy seat. Mm-hmm. On top of it, who is doing? Who's in the who's in the garden? Mm-hmm. Angels, right? Archangel, by the way. Mm-hmm. Then after guarding the angel, what on top of that? Oh, the throne of the Almighty, right? Yes. So he informed himself about the cherubims, right? Yes. So about there. So mm-hmm. it's a, that's, a, that's a lander there. Mm-hmm. That's your spiritual lander there. Mm-hmm. All spiritual open access there. Mm-hmm. So this realm is about. Mm-hmm. Mercy seed, man's realm. Guardian angels open the way. Angels, right? Mm-hmm. There you go. But it's through the ark open. And what is in the ark? God said, unless you get the whole wee thing in the ark, can't open this up. Right. Mercy seat only allow you to uh, get what's inside the ark. Let's look at what is inside the ark. You tell me what the, what the three items in the ark. Uh, Hidden man, The rod. Rod. The blooms. Yes. What else? The two tablets. Oh, yes. <laughs> this, yeah. <coughs> the law, right? Mm-hmm. <coughs> Please me. So what what are those things that never given to man? I don't know if I understand your question. Are those things never given to man or already given to man? Then set apart. Um I think that Moses said in his word someday to the people said the thing God gave to us is belong to us, am I right? Mm-hmm. So what, are those things already given to them or not? The healing man always gave it to them, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was from the, every day, you know, to right. pick it up, then say, heal something, right? So it's not really healing, it's just set apart, basically. Yeah. What about the, and never what, by the way, it's a remini, reminiscence for the manna, right? But the real man uh, on Saturday, whatever, the weekend, they're going to rot, am I? Mm-hmm. So you have to pick up every day, in a sense, am I? Mm-hmm. Make sense to you? Mm-hmm. You can't give the yes, it is a portion. Mm-hmm. So what that means? But this was a hidden. Mm-hmm. Never rot. Mm-hmm. Talking about God's provision never dial up, am yeah. I? It's a perpetual okay. life, am I? So okay. it represents angelic food or angelic life. So... Mm. so Just the same. Yeah. So, yeah. It's what about the rod? You know the experience of the rod, am I? Lamb and Ron quickly bought out, am I? So right. The whole cycle of life quickly come out. Mm-hmm. Then bear fruits, am I? Mm-hmm. Quickly, am I? In an instant. Mm-hmm. So what that means? What is the tree of life means? No, <laughs> <laughs> So God said, eternal life was given to me in the beginning, but it's hidden away, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, you want to buy that out because then that's a hidden way. Mm-hmm. Guarded by angels. Yeah. yeah. 
At the same time, it's a, a rod, right? It's a staff, a rod. The authority power. Mm. Minister of uh, this internal life, right? Mm. A seed of life. Mm. Mm. It's the same. And so, those being inside the ark, mm -hmm. what, what are the implications of that? That means those things are already given to you. Okay. But man don't respect it. Mm. So for God said, let me take away from you. Mm. Because you refuse to be my people. Mm. In the way that I want to be. Mm. You want the crowns. You want the small stuff. You want the, your imagination. So for, okay. I will preserve a seed. I will preserve people. When my son comes, I'm going to open this up for them. Mm. I'm going to restore their treasures for all to them. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to elevate them. We can move on. Yeah. You eat the manna. You work my angels, am I? Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. Mm. But then, you eat the fruit tree. Mm -hmm. Then, the law inscribed on your heart. Yeah. That's a fulfill Adam and Eve. Was it missing, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's a, a door, by the way. Yeah. Arc two tablets are like represent the gate, right? Hmm. Double, double door, double gate, you know? Hmm. Double portion. Double gate. Yeah. I'll give you some willing brief. It's some essence, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you open, ah, oh, you are back home hmm. as a song. Hmm. With his love and the wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to minister internal life, you know that? Not just enjoyment, you're supposed right. to minister internal yes. life. That's all it's about. Yes. Mm. But internal life is not stagnant life, it's glory to glory. Yes. Life to life. Mm. Glory to glory, life to life. Mm -hmm. How are they getting down? More love, more wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. I was talking to Ben, I said, we have a relationships, you know. I said, hey brother, have we ever given any gift or through any party to you? <laughs> mm. uh, but do you will say I don't love you? Mm -hmm. Or don't know how to love you? Mm -hmm. I was using the challenge and mindsets, right? For sure. He was saying, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Somebody tell you. But do I have to throw a birthday party to celebrate? <laughs> I love you. Mm -hmm. To tell him that. Oh, give him, give him, remind him I love him. Mm -hmm. No. Then a whole lot love you. I give you wisdom. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know your honor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By me. Right. I mean, what's what I want? Is that not what they right. want at the end of the day? <laughs> right. a, you give that directly. Mm. I mean, do you want the gifts ready? Do you want the party time? No, I don't think so. That seems durable. Never, mm -hmm. never say it's you know, important. Mm -hmm. But really, what children want from us? Friends want from us. Another decent, godly man want from us. Mm -hmm. So, want the fellowship with us in love and wisdom. Mm -hmm. And when you give those things to them, they know that's the best you can get from anyone, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can have an endless supply. Mm -hmm. You know, when those things are sealed, mm. who cares you give me gifts or not in us? Right. I might have a birthday, I think I'll well, give you a gift, man. You know, so. mm. <laughs> because, oh, I'm on birthday, I want to think about you. you know, so. mm. Because I want to cherish you, you know? Mm. I want to make sure that I, you know, I'm praying for you today. You know, so. mm. <laughs> Important. You get to my life. I'm just talking. Mm -hmm. You see, those are different ways to process relationships. Yeah. Yeah, once those getting in the in on a foundational level of our life, mm. I think the life pretty enjoyable mm -hmm. and easier, right? Mm-hmm. Most people don't want that, but sure. So maybe 
I think every man actually want that part of them. They just don't know yeah. how to really believe that it can happen to them. Mm-hmm. And without God, that's impossible to happen, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Now, I'm going to wrap up there for the conversation about the ark. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Is that... Well, not Very sure helpful. Uh, would you mind sending it to me uh, when you... Absolutely. Um, it, uh, look at that. 444 four, four now. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want me to stop recording this? Oh, I don't care. Okay. Yeah. I just would. I would just like to listen to it again. Sure. To kind of 